this. All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now, live in the flesh. Well, you're probably not gonna view it live, but anyway, I'm gonna make a quick uh, tutorial video on how to free up some space on your Xbox One hard drive. Now, normally, uh, you know, most people probably have a 500 gigabyte model, day one editions or the big black boxes. Most of them usually are 500 gigabytes. And this was a request from my brother, so this is for you, buddy, on how to uninstall games, because he has no clue how to uninstall them. Now, I don't remember how you used to uninstall. I could have sworn you go to your pins and press the menu button and it would pop up, but unfortunately that does not work anymore, even if it ever did, I don't know. So what you need to do is go to the top of the screen and where it says my games and apps, go to that. Okay, now as you can see, you have all your games and all your apps and everything right here in this handy dandy location, games, apps, ready to install. All right, so you have some games right here that you probably don't need anymore that are taking up way too much space. Cause as you can see, Halo 5 by itself, 87 gigs. Halo Master Chief Edition, 62 gigs. So these games are pretty, pretty big, man. So let's go to something really uh, insignificantly small. I have them in from biggest to lowest. So let's get rid of Limbo right here. Now what you have to do is highlight any game that you want to get rid of and press the menu button. AKA the hamburger button, AKA this start button. One of that, whatever you want to call it, it is this button right here. So you just press that and it'll give you a context menu. If you want to pin, if you want to go to the hub, manage game or uninstall. Now you have two options. You can just straight uninstall directly right there or you can go to manage game. Manage game gives you a couple extra little things such as let's say you want to move it to an external hard drive. You can do that. Or copy it to an external hard drive. You can do that sometimes. And uninstall all. So for the sake of this, we just go to uninstall all, press A and uninstall all. Boom, just like that. And there you go, your game is now gone. Freeing up a little bit more of space. Now, I don't know how much damage it did on my 51.2%. I don't remember the number beforehand, but it, it frees up a little space. Now, also what you wanna do, here's another quick tidbit of information for you. Let's say you like playing games and uh, you know, you wanna get to them quickly, but you didn't just play it like in your last uh, four things that you did, okay? So this right down here, you have your pins. See how it says pins right there in the little corner? It says pins, you can pin any game. Now what's new to this uh, Xbox update that they just recently did not too long ago, was you were able to uh, maneuver your pins. So let's see, let's see a game that I like to play and I don't see it up here. I'm going to pin, holy crap, Halo 5 is not here. So I play that a lot, I like to think. So let's go up. To Halo 5. You press the menu button, aka start button, and go to pin to home. Boom. That makes the game at your top at the top of your pins right here. So now let's say um, I like Halo 5, but I don't like it so much to be right exactly there. Because when I press down and go to my tabs or at least my pins, I like YouTube to be the first thing uh, that I go to. So what you can do is actually press the Y button, which is yellow, the Y button. Or you can actually hit the menu button yet again. Menu is your friend on your Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. And that'll give you the option to unpin it if you don't even want that game there. Or move the pin. So we'll click A and hit move pin. And you can move it around wherever you'd like to put it in your pins menu. Pretty nifty. Now let's just say like, oh, I didn't want to move it. Just press the B button and I'll switch it right back to where it was. But for the sake of argument, we're going to move it. Um, Let's say next to the, the the Master Chief Edition. Okay, so there we go. So now we have it set up real nice like. And that is how you uh, actually keep all your games in order real nice. So you want to get to them quickly and you can just uh, see how you're at the top of the menu. You can just press the right trigger button and it'll go directly down to your pins. Press the left trigger button and it'll go right back up and you can just select your, select your games and apps and whatnot. Now also real quick, just a quick uh, bonus information real fast. They just added an update today, my friends. And it is involving the, what is it called? You know how your Xbox actually does little chimes and little, little noises when you turn it on or off? You actually can customize that now ever so slightly. So what you want to do is go to your uh, settings and go down to power and startup and then go to power mode and startup. Whoa. What is this? It's talking to me. No, I don't want to do whatever you're saying. I pulled up some videos for you. Okay, thank you, you Cortana. You, you, you are a treasure. 
How do I get rid of this thing? Like that. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, so what you want to do is once you've uh, gone to your settings and you go down to power and startup, go over to power mode and startup. Okay, and you see here it says right down here, it says startup chime on. I have it on, so no matter what you do, the the Xbox One will chime. Do -do 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 Anytime you turn it on or off with your controller or your voice or the button itself. And now you can customize it to the effect of you can do it, the it'll chime whether you do it only with the power button or voice or just you don't like the, the sound at all, turn it off completely. So that's a cool little uh, feature that they added. I like it on for everything. I like the confirmation that my system is on and or off. So I keep it on all the time on. Okay, we're living in the Caribbean. All right, and that's a quick tutorial on how to uh, free up some more space on your hard drive. You know, if you're not using some games that you don't like, please like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Please help me out, people. I'm, I'm at your mercy. So I'm going to start making more gaming videos, uh, maybe some uh, help, helpful hint videos. So shout outs to my brother, France. Now you know how to uninstall some games. And I will catch you guys on the other side of the moon, which is the dark side of the moon. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time.